So since today's a rainy day and I'm not feeling very creative, I am not going to make a vlog. I'm going to edit a series of videos that my former companion sent me um, from Chile. And it's not particularly because I want to show them to everyone, because I promised him that I would edit them and put them as one video. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So if you want to watch, enjoy. Is it going? What up, Builder Bennett? How's it going? I hope you're well. I'm... Like I said before, I print off your letters, and I'm going to make a book out of your letters, and one day that book will be printed because of your amazing writings that I will have compiled by the end of my mission. Anyways, I printed off your letter and I read it. Well, I can't say I was surprised because all of your letters are very good, but this one I liked especially. It had a very... It was a very, it had a topic, un tema, that I really liked. But first of all, congratulations on your goals. I'm glad that you're doing well in your goals and you haven't given up on day two because you do have a problem with that. I hope you can do 10 bullets by June. All right, so today is March 7th, 2016. Let's do this. One of my goals, I, that's not really a goal, this is just a fun fact. I can get up 12 flights of stairs in 47 seconds. That was my record for last week. This week, I'll try to do better. Um, also, I'm happy that you have a job at Pizza Hut. I'm also happy that you still can't see the numbers on the houses. And you still get lost. Because that was definitely a problem that we had. And now onto the good party related. That really got me thinking. And I really liked it a lot. When you started talking about being patient because... You're always thinking of like going up already, being married, having a kid, having jobs, things like that. And how you're saying that now is very underutilized. I'm very, I, I agree with that. I'm very in accordance. Estoy de acuerdo. Um, then you asked a couple questions. We'll talk about a couple of those questions. Just some ideas that I've had because this was a thing for me in high school. This was a, something that I honestly asked myself quite a lot. Um... You asked, is it hard for you to live in the moment and enjoy it? Do you have any tips for enjoying now? Do you think that happiness is a choice we make? How does much does our happiness depend on outside circumstances and people? Yeah, first question. Is it hard for you to live in the moment and enjoy it? <laughs> well, I think it used to be. These, these 30 second videos are hard to make. Anyways, I think it's not hard for me to live in the moment now because I used to ask myself this question a lot. And I ended up finding some quotes that I really like that I have here, actually, because my mother sent them to me. Um, I like taking advantage of now because we, we can't ever get the seconds back that go by us. Like, it's, they're just gone. So if we don't take advantage of now, we're losing a lot. So there was a couple sec there was a couple things that I liked, a couple quotes. One is by Mark Twain that says, 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. As in, we need to do them. Well, we should take advantage of all the opportunities that are given to us. This is a good one, but it doesn't really have... It kind of has to do with it. It says, We should be more concerned about engaging and living out life rather than always wanting to escape from the responsibilities that are ours. Or I guess you could say, We should be more concerned about engaging and living our life rather than always thinking about and spending time in the future or in the past. There's a quote, actually, I wrote it down from Thomas S. Monson that I liked, that uh, from a devotional. All this devotional I would recommend that you listen to. In this devotional, he quotes President Monson, and President Monson says, Learn from the past, prepare for the future, live in the present. That, I really liked that quote, actually. That actually got me thinking about it a lot. I don't know. To live in the present, to live in the now, I think we've just got to realize that really the minutes, the seconds that pass are just, they're gone. We can't ever get them back. So if we're not taking, if we're not doing something with those minutes, we're just losing. I can either take advantage of those minutes and I can learn something, or I can sit on my butt playing a computer game. And if I spend a hundred minutes learning something, every minute I learn something, like I have nothing to do for a minute, so I learn something. In a hundred minutes more, I'm going to be very smart. Or in a hundred minutes, I can be playing on the computer and just I'm not going to get anywhere. You know what I mean? Um, next question. 
was, do you think that happiness is a choice we make? How much does happiness depend on outside circumstances and people? I think that actually has to do, I think they're kind of the same question because I personally think that happiness is a choice. One time when I was a kid, like 6th, 7th grade, I know, how old was I? I was like in 7th or 8th grade. And this was when chain emails were a big thing back in that day. And so I got this chain email, and usually I didn't really give heed to them, but this one I did. To make a long story short, I told the story of, like the stories of Purim from the perspective of a man who worked with another guy. And the other guy was just a guy that he is described as somebody that you just couldn't hate. As much as you wanted to hate him, you couldn't. He was just, he was always just happy. He was always just, just a happy guy, just did what he needed to do, and he was, he was always happy. So one day, the guy decides to ask the other dude, like, why is it that you're so happy? How can you be happy when we work at such a terrible place? And, and the guy just simply responds, well, in the morning, every day when I wake up, I have one decision to make. And that decision that will guide my whole day. My decision is, to, is today going to be a good day or a bad day? I have the choice to make that decision every day. Is it going to be a good day or a bad day? And he says, and I choose to make it a good day, every day. The guy that was always happy got in an accident, like broke his back and he was in a wheelchair. And the guy that told this story, like saw him 30, 20 years later. And the guy was just as happy as he ever was. Actually, he tells a story when he was in the doctor's office. They asked him, are you allergic to anything? Because he was in, like, he was in danger. He was going to die. And he's like, are you allergic to anything? And he's like, yes. They're like, what? What are you allergic to? So that we don't give it to you. And he's like, from gravity. Because like he fell and I don't know. That had nothing to do with it. But he was just like, he chose to make the best out of the experience where he was at. He just chose to make it a good day. Whether or not it really was a good day, he chose to make it a good day and it was a good day. I had a principal. And every day he did the announcements. And every day for those five years, at the end of his announcements, I heard him say, have a good day or not, the choice is yours. So in reality, it's our choice to like, make the best out of the day and make it a good day. Have it be a good day. And so I feel like happiness definitely is, it's a choice that we make. It doesn't really matter the circumstances, it doesn't matter the people. It depends on us, it depends on what we decide to do today. What we decide to make today. We can make it bad, we can make it good. Um, anyways, I think you should listen to this devotional. I don't know if we listened to it while we were together. I don't think so, I think I downloaded it afterwards. Maybe you've heard it. But it's called, Nevertheless, I Went Forth by Anthony D. Perkins. And the first part, it's really cool, actually. It, it doesn't really have to answer your question, but the, the part towards the end, like, like step three and step four, has a little bit more to do with what you asked. So that was all the stuff that I had to say, I think. I don't remember if there's anything else. I didn't really have anything for... Well, obviously I didn't prepare anything. I just wanted to talk because I liked the topic. Um, also, I liked the letter. Thank you a lot for putting effort into the letter. I'm, I, I agree with you. I'm kind of sick of... Getting letters that say, hey, how are you? How's Chile? Have a good day. I really like the letter. I like your letter. I like my mom's letter because she does the kind of same thing. Like, we just kind of go back and forth sharing opinions and, like, ideas and stuff like that. And so, I like what you did here. And I appreciate that you still put an effort to writing me. And I know you write your brother, too, but you still haven't forgot about me. That's so sweet. You're so... It's so cute, Elder Bennett. Also, the thing you said about the toolbox, is that cool if I use that in my letter that I write to my family and to all the people that read my blog? Because honestly, I love, I love the toolbox, toolbox analogy that you gave in your, in your letter. So if that's okay, I think I'm going to copy and paste that on my, in my letter. Like I'm going to obviously give you, I'm going to quote you, I'm going to give you a shout out, you know. But I think if it's okay, I'm gonna use that in my letter because that inspired me. I liked that. I liked it a lot. You have a, definitely a talent to write things and to express yourself. So don't ever stop, please. Peace. I gotta peace out. So I hope you have a good week. I hope your letter tomorrow is way good. And that's it for now. Ciao.